Uh, so hello everyone. Uh, today I'm talking about robust optimization, which is a extension of the normal uh, robust optimization problem. And then today, now we start with data uncertainty in optimization problem. First of all, the data of real world problem is often has lots of uncertainty and such uncertainty will both exist in the objective function and also the constraint. And, uh, and we will find that the, some uncertainty can heavily affect the nominal solution or sometimes even cause the, uh, pr the problem to be uh, un unsolvable, um, which is, means that the a feasible set uh, is a non-set. So we will introduce some method. Here uh, is a robust optimization problem to solve this uncertainty. First, we will talk about the paradigm of robust optimization. In, uh, in, the, in our, uh, our goals, first is to find a feasible set, uh, which is another name is uncertainty set, that is in such a set, the variable x uh, will satisfy all the uh, possible constraints, and this constraint uh, will follow a variable, variable u, and this u is in a deterministic set u, a big u. So, uh, we can find in this uh, in this uh, equation. If we actually have not uh, one certain uh, constraint, actually we have an uh, infinite number of constraints. So a feasible point uh, must have followed from uh, a lot of uh, constraints. And uh, sometimes this is uh, not easy to uh, solve this, uh, this constraint. And, for, for the objective function, we define the, uh, we will aim at the worst case. So, uh, we can uh, represent it as, we will find the minimum of the supremum of the objective function, uh, which uh, uh, no matter what the, uh, uh, v takes and here x must in the feasible set as described in the uh, above equation. And uh, another important observation is that uh, we adopt a here and now decision rule, which means that uh, every decision we make will be uh, uh, well, regardless the uh, parameter u, uh, the decision is made before the actually data u comes. And then here, well, we can say that the uh, our robust optimization uh, follows from a hard constraint that the uh, all the constraint in the uh, in the set, uh, in the set big U, must be uh, considered, and uh, any to any violation of the const uh, constraint uh, will not be tolerant, and uh, we will not uh, consider th that part. Uh, another important uh, method to solve the uncertainty is the stochastic optimization problem. The stochastic optimization problem solve uh, the chance constraint problem, which can be described as we will have minimum is variable t, and here t uh, is uh, have the chance larger than one minus epsilon to be greater than uh, than g x. Uh, u and the u uh, the u and 
the x uh, is followed from the uh, the constraint uh, infinite number constraint and uh, v uh, v v and u follow from a uh, determined uh, probability distribu distribution so uh, we can say that, say that if we solve these problems we can assert uh, that we have uh, we have uh, larger than uh, one minus epsilon uh, confidence to ensure that our uh, optimal value will be be larger uh, less equal than uh, the target t, uh, no matter what value uh, takes for the unknown parameter v and u. Uh, in the simple case for the uh, above problem, the data uh, say the u and v is assumed to be uh, in a known probabilistic distribution. Uh, and in some advanced case, the probabilities is only partially known. For example, uh, it is we only know that it follows from a Gaussian distribution and we know the lower bound and upper bound for the mean or, or other uh, covariance, uh, such kind of things. And we know we can find that the SO seem to be less conservative than robust optimization because we can, uh, can tolerate the violation uh, violation for the constraint. Uh, but it uh, only worked when data has a stochastic nature uh, and sometimes uh, real world data do not have such a nature of stochastic and SO cannot guarantee the uh, strict constraint or strict uh, optimal value which now uh, is not satisfying in some cases. For example, we can uh, tolerate uh, uh, some uh, violation of our uh, schedule, uh, even if the uh, even if the chance is pretty low. Oh, uh, actually, we can find some uh, real world uh, example. Uh, but we're going to skip that. Uh, uncertainty linear uh, optimization is another part of our project. Uh, first, we recall that linear optimization is of this simple form. And we optimize over a linear function and subject to a uh, matrix uh, inequality. Uh, after introducing the uncertainty, the robust feasible set can be described followed from the above uh, uh, definition is that uh, x uh, have to uh, satisfy uh, the uh, linear equation that ax less equal than b for any x and uh, any a and b belong to set u and also the objective function will take the superman or uh, linear function of x. Uh, and so uh, in conclusion, the robust counterpart, which defined as a conversion from uh, from the uncertainty optimization to a determinist uh, equivalent de uh, optimization problem, uh, such a uh, the robust counterpart for linear optimization can be uh, can be shown as this, and then we make some uh, important observation of the RC of linear optimization. First, we can find that by adding an extra variable, we can always convert it into a uncertainty uh, linear optimization with some certain objective function. Yeah, we just only add uh, add a variable t 
and the uh, abstract function and t must equal uh, large equal to n c t x plus d and also the constraint uh, is the same so here we can find that this problem is still a uncertain linear optimization uh, counterpart and uh, so for any uh, any linear optimization we can always find this transform and so uh, in, in the very beginning we can assume that the objective function is certain for our problem uh, another, uh, another observation is that if x is a robust feasible solution of of ci and then x remains robust feasible when we extend to uh, extend the uh, uncertainty set u it said u i to its convex hole convex of u i is uh, it still uh, le uh, lead to a same optimal value and based on the two observations uh, we can say that we lose nothing to restrict ourselves only to uncertainties linear optimization problem with certain objective and the parameter set u is a convex and a closed set thus we can assume the set only has the term a and b and uh, which is in form of such uh, it is shown in uh, by uh, by line says a uh, ui equal to the uh, any ai and bi uh, equal to a, uh, a fixed point a0 b0 plus a convex convex set which, which is uh, represented as the sum of weighted uh, weighted point of a a i l and b i l and the weight is zeta l uh, zeta l is in a convex and the closed perturbation set z i so this form can uh, be said and a ellipsoidal representation of the convex uh, of the uncertainty set and after this cons conversion the constraint under this form is uh, say the atx less equal to b for any, for any parameter follow this form uh, and can give some uh, simple example for the linear optimization and the counterpart. The it is a interval uncertainty where the uh, uncertainty set z is in a box, uh, which is shown as the infinite infinite norm is less equal to the a con constant plus one. This uh, admitted a representation of a system uh, of uh, of convex constraint. Okay, so uh, we can see that it is still a linear uh, constraint. So it is easy to solve this problem. And then we can we see that a ellipsoidal uh, the uncertainty set. Uh, here it can be represented by a ball uh, which the radius is, uh, is omega if it's not a ball uh, we can always find some uh, normalization process to make it a ball and then this result a convex optimization uh, is also a trackable representation here uh, uh, it is still a convex convex functions yeah so it will lead to a deterministic determined a robust counterpart uh, which is a convex optimization 
in pre in the about discussion, we talk about the trackability of, of the robot counterparts. Uh, in precisely say that the the trackability means that we whether we can solve this problem uh, in a uh, polynomial time convexity. Uh, if it cannot be so uh, efficiently, or sometimes it's NP hard, it is not computationally trackable. In principle, uh, if, if we did not constrain the uncertainty set, this, this problem uh, can be uh, computationally intractable. And uh, we, we can also give some example. Um, but we skip that. Uh, here we consider a general case which is a solvable case where the set Z is by, uh, given by a conic representation. Uh, maybe we can uh, go through that. P zeta plus Q U plus P belong to a proper cone K. And the P uh, Q are given matrix and U, U, is, U is not given. And p is a given vector. As a result, we can say that this kind of uh, uncertainty constraint can be represented by such a system of conic inequality. Here, the uh, k star is a cone due to uh, the previous proper cone k. So, uh, since the constraint is of conic inequalities, the previous uh, the overall robust uh, optimization problem can be uh, transformed to a conic conic optimization, which is uh, trackable. So, we, uh, in, in summary, that a uh, lot of lot of the uncertainty set, uh, even if uh, it's not as simple as a ball or a box, uh, can be this. All this uh, uncertainty set, as long as I follow this form, can be uh, lead to a uh, trackable robust counterpart, uh, which is a satisfying result. Okay, and then we we talk a little about the. Uh, adjustable robust optimization. What does it mean that uh, he, before uh, before this uh, this part, we uh, we have uh, talked about that the the constraint parameter uh, u is uh, is not known before our decision. So our decision must be guarantee to follow all the uh, possible constraints. But if we uh, already know uh, the constraint parameters or partially knows, we can make a less conservative decision based on the given parameter. And it changed the previous here and now decision rules uh, to uh, a wait and see decision rules and which allow for the decision to depend on part of the data as it is similar to the concept of closed loop control in the uh, control theory. Then we we'll uh, we'll look at the robust counterpart of this problem. Now we allow for uh, the parameter uh, uh, the, the uh, variable xj to depend on the pre-described portion of the true data. I will uh, say that uh, the data is z, zeta and the, uh, the matrix pj times zeta uh, is rep uh, representing the, the part of the uh, dependent data. And then the uh, optimization problem can be transformed to such a, a Functional functional optimization problem. Here we optimize the 
uh, t and the function xj and t must not equal to and the uh, function of f x uh, theta and theta and all the uh, uh, function x theta uh, f x theta uh, theta will be in the uh, in a proper cone and the x theta uh, is a projection of the variable theta so this form is more sophisticated because we have to uh, optimize over a function x uh, and no more no longer than the uh, a few variable so sometimes uh, to simplify these problems we may assume that uh, the the uh, the function xj is of a form of affine function uh, maybe we'll talk about that this later and uh, for simple example here uh, is optimizing problem we uh, need to optimize the uh, uh, xi over three constraint here uh, here is a variable theta with a less than zero uh, less than row and larger than zero and the row is less than one for a robust compound problem we take and we will uh, have to satisfy all the constraints uh, when the zeta is in the range of zero to rho first we take the zeta to rho and we have x2 larger than uh, rho over 2 times z x1 plus 1 and then we take zeta equal to 0 and this leads to xi uh, x1 larger equal than 2 times x2 so uh, we combine these two equations we have x1 is larger equal than 2 over 1 minus rho uh, such the uh, we can say that the optimal value for the robust counterpart is larger equal than 2 over 1 minus rho for the ARC the constraint is satisfied uh, when we're given a zeta and we we find that uh, this is uh, satisfied uh, if only we have x1 uh, larger equal than 2 minus theta times the minimal of the x2 which is 1 plus 1 of 2 theta uh, x1 here uh, we can verify that when we take x1 x2 4 it is feasible for all such constraints and the optimal we can say that the optimal value for arc will always less equal than 4 so in conclusion uh, if we uh, take a uh, arbitrary row we can see that the optimal value for the uh, rc will always always uh, La larger than the optimal, optimal value for ARC and the, uh, when you row approach to in, to 1 uh, this this change will be huge so uh, this shows that the robust adjustable robust optimization can uh, largely uh, improve the uh, our, our decision rules Here's some un unfinished part of our project, and we'll proceed. Uh, we'll discuss it in the paper. First, uh, we did not talk about how to solve the uncertainty with chance constraint problem, and it's a very interesting pro uh, to topic to talk about. And we'll see that this problem sometimes will also lead to some. Uh, intractable optimization problem and also uh, if we uh, 
can tolerate some uh, violation for the uh, for our uh, constraint, we will uh, this, uh, and add some penalty to such a violation. We have a globalized robust counterpart of the original problem. Uh, this is also a meaningful uh, technique. Uh, so then, for the adjustable robust counterpart, uh, if we restrict to restrict the uh, uh, tunable function uh, xj to, as a affine function, uh, we can solve this uh, problem. And this method can be used for multi-stage decision problems. And later, some more applications such as uh, inventory control uh, and resource allocation uh, uh, will be talked about in, uh, later in the paper. This problem can also take advantage of the robust counterpart, and sometimes the uh, result is very sophisticated, but uh, it is meaningful for, for some cases. And here's the reference where I mainly uh, read these books uh, from, yeah, robust count optimization.